हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड रिंग मॉड्यूलेटर रिंग मॉड्यूलेटर इज यूज्ड टू प्रोड्यूस DSBSC signal. So ring modulator is used to produce double side band suppressed carrier signal. This is the circuit diagram of ring modulator. It consists of two transformers T1 and T2. These two transformers are center tapped transformer. Here four diodes are connected in the form of a bridge. or in the form of a ring that's why it is known as a ring modulator it consists of band pass filter with center frequency fc and bandwidth 2 fm the carrier signal is applied to center tap of transformer t1 as well as t2 the modulating signal or the message signal is applied to transformer t1 and the output will appear across secondary of the transformer after passing through the band pass filter now let us see the operation since we are applying a carrier signal which is a square wave so this square wave will be having positive half as well as negative half of the input so during positive half we will get plus 1 and during negative half it will be minus 1 when carrier signal is positive then diode d1 and d2 are forward bias and diode d3 and d4 are reverse bias due to forward bias condition of d1 and d2 we will get the output across the secondary of the transformer t2 and diode d3 and d4 will be off hence we can say the modulator will multiply the message signal by 1 therefore we can write v not of t is equal to m of t into plus 1 when carrier signal is positive the value of carrier signal will be plus 1 that's why plus 1 will be multiplied with the message signal m of t therefore we can say v not of t is equal to m of t now let us consider case 2 when carrier signal is negative when carrier signal is negative diode d1 and d2 are reverse bias hence these two diodes will be off and diode d3 and d4 will be forward biased hence we will get the output voltage across the transformer t2 hence modulator multiply message signal by minus 1 therefore v not of t will be equal to m of t into minus 1 therefore we can write v not of t is equal to minus m of t since c of t is having the value plus 1 and minus 1 generally we can write the expression for v not of t as m of t into c of t let us call this as equation number 1 now we can represent the carrier signal in terms of fourier series as c of t is equal to 4 by pi cos 2 pi of c t minus 1 by 3 cos 6 pi f c t plus and so on so you directly remember this equation this is how we can represent the fourier series of carrier signal therefore we can write equation 1 as 
v naught of t is equal to m of t into 4 by pi into cos 2 pi f c t minus 1 by 3 cos 6 pi f c t plus and so on. Now this v naught of t will pass through the band pass filter. So this v naught of t will pass through the band pass filter with center frequency fc. So it will allow the signals with frequency fc and it will remove the low frequencies as well as the high frequencies. So in this equation m of t multiplied with 4 pi with this term is a high frequency signal. This part of this equation is high frequency signal. That's why the band pass filter will eliminate this term. So it will retain only cos 2 pi fct because this signal is centered across the frequency fc. Therefore, finally, we will get the output s of t is equal to 4 by pi m of t cos 2 pi f c t. So, this is the expression for DSBSC signal. So, this is the output of a ring modulator. Now, let us see the waveform of ring modulator. So, this is the message signal and this is the carrier signal. So, this waveform represents the output of secondary of the transformer T2 so which is V naught of T and this is the output of band pass filter which is a double side band suppressed carrier waveform. This is about a ring modulator. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.